I will start new topic that is simple interest. I will talk. Uh, wait. So, <clears throat> in this topic, first of all, we need to see what are the formulas are included. Okay. See the formulas. First one. In simple interest, we mainly use one formula. In other, that is simple interest. Interest is equal to PTR by 100. Okay. Actually, we have two types of interest will be there. One is simple interest as well as another one is compound interest. Okay. Simple interest, it will be doubled or it will be increased based on given time period as well as rate of interest. But in compound interest, it will be increased based on interest on principal as well as interest. Okay. So, we will see some examples in compound interest. So, before that, first we see simple interest. What is simple interest? <coughs> so, in simple interest, PTR by 100. What is meaning of P? P stands for principal amount. Principal amount. P stands for principal amount. And T stands for time period. As well as R stands for rate of interest. Rate of interest. Okay. So, this is about simple interest condition. And the total amount. The total amount will be principal amount plus interest after one year after six months after three months it will be <coughs> principal amount plus interest means what we need to do principal amount to p plus interest amount is p t r by 100 so from that p i will take out common what we get 1 plus T R by 100. So, idu total amount. Total amount means principal amount with interest. Okay. So, this is about total amount. And this is about simple interest. Now, we will do problems based on this simple interest let us see first problem what is first problem find the simple interest on rupees 4000 for two years at 12 percent interest per annum okay so everybody can do live chart with your answers okay so, answers will be displayed on screen. You can say the answers directly by substituting in the formula. So, I will confirm who are going to do the problems. Okay. So, don't waste the time. Try to do the problems and tell me the answers. I will be online. Okay. <coughs> See, first I will do solution. 4000 so 4000 the principal amount is 4000 and time period t is equal to 2 and rate of interest r is equal to 12 percent yes uh, somebody came so 
Anita, you are saying screen is not clear. Put on the light. So you are saying screen is not clear. Okay, now you can check. Motamis now. Okay. Yes, now I think it is clear. So find simple interest. Got it, Anita? Right. <coughs> now we have principal amount four thousand and the time period is two thousand two as well as the rate of interest is twelve. We need to find simple interest. How much the answer will be? Simple interest is equal to PTR divided by hundred. So that is nothing but P is four thousand into T. T means two into R twelve divided by hundred. So two zeros got cancelled. Yes, somebody saying answer. Malasri Viradar says nine sixty. Okay, let me check at once. So after that, yes. 80 into 12, 960. That is exactly correct answer. Yes, one more person. Navya also said C is correct answer. Yes, Pooja, welcome Pooja. So your answer is also correct. <coughs> nice. So based on this, we, we will do so many different types of problems. Let us see. One more problem, but little bit of change. Swalpa change is there. So try Madi. Ah, end quote is there. So rupees six thousand is lent out. Lent out means borrowed. I mean, that means so lent out means given. given. Adu six thousand rupees quote is there. At the interest of. 15% per annum, then the amount after 3 years. The question is amount after 3 years. Okay. 6000 rupees. Principal amount is 6000 rupees. As well as the rate of interest is 15%. And uh, time is 3 years. What will be the correct answer? Check the answer. I will be waiting for your answer. Anybody can do. What will be the correct answer? So 2700 as well as 8700, 6700, 5700. You have all values. Then the amount after 3 years asked. Okay. So now I will try to do the problem. So before that, you can try the solution. Anybody can try the solution. Yes, uh, Usharani says option A 2700. Okay. Navya also says, Malasri also, also says 2700. Right. Let me check. But here the condition is different because amount, amount after three years, amount means A is equal to P into 1 plus TR by 100. This is the formula, not PTR by 100. Okay, because in question what was asked, the total amount, total amount means with interest. It will be changed. You can change your formula. In formula change more. So substitute Madi. A method that is A amount, total amount is equal to 6000 into 1 plus time period n 3 into rate of interest 15 divided by 
hundred. Okay. Uh, so then, uh, how much? So here, five threes are, and this is five twenties are. Yes. So Manjula, hello. Screen to say that screen is not clear, and also your voice is echo is more. Okay, actually my throat is not very well. Major problem is that one. So little bit of cold. That's why my throat is not clear. Let me say it once. My throat is not clear. So please try to adjust for this day. Yes, yes. Everybody is saying 8,700. 8, but one person says 8,750. Let me check. Let me check. Uh, see this. A is equal to 6000 into uh, here. How much we get? 3 into 15 divided by 100 means uh, 20, 20 plus 9. 29 divided by 20 means 0, 0 cancel. Here what we get, of course everybody is saying 8,700. 8, so let me do it. Let me do it. Here 2, 3 is a 6. So 300. 29, 3 is a. So 9, 3 is a. So 29, 3 is a how much? 27 as well as 6 plus 2, 8. 8700, this is correct answer. 8700 is correct answer. So, we can do same problem in another method also. What is that method? I will do here, check it once. So, 6000 we have. How much interest is 15% per annum? 15 divided by 100. So, 0, 0 got cancelled. Okay, now. How much 16, 9, 16, 15, 6. Okay. How much? This is uh, 90, 900. How many years? 3 years. Into 3 means 2700. <coughs> so, 6000 plus 2700 that is nothing but 8700 in both the ways we can do this is first method second method this is first method check the sound at once <coughs> so both are same answers okay next <coughs> see Similar problem, but little bit of change. Another question. The interest obtained on sum, on sum, here this is sum, S-U-M, sum of rupees 4000 for two and a half years at the rate of 720 per, seven and a half interest per annum so interest is seven and half percent okay this is the question so here interest means we need to find simple interest procedure is same but the question is in different way same method what is the principal amount is four thousand okay and two and a half years time t is equal to two and a half years always time should be in years only so that's why it is clear we can write as a proper i mean we can write in mixed fraction as a uh, fraction how can we write two two is a four plus one five by two okay na? right 
Next after that R rate of interest. How much? Seven and half. Seven and half we can write it as okay. So Pushpa also says video is not clear. Video is not clear. Everybody says video is not clear. Let me check. Uh, just uh, oh, put off the Sanju. Put off that. Uh, uh, charging. Put off that charging. Uh, next, put on. Now, see at once. See at once. Uh, is it clear? Is the visibility is clear? Check it once. I think it. Uh, But in my uh, yes yes in my screen uh, it is being clear only. Okay, let it be. I will continue. Ah, oh, see. <coughs> what is time is in? years only so rate of interest is seven and half means seven to the 14 15 by 2 so ah uh, yes yes mamata now says it is clear right thank you thank you very much now let us continue substitute same method the rate of interest asked so rate of interest means simple interest substitute in formula PTR by 100, 4000 into 5 by 2 into 15 by 2 divided by 100. Simplify this. Yes, Asha says and Malasri also says 750. Maybe 750 is correct. Two zeros got cancelled and two twos are four got cancelled. Uh, so, how much? 750 exactly. That is correct answer. Okay, so similar question, but it is given in mixed fractions. Okay, na? okay. now I will move on to one more problem. See this. Similar, but a little bit of change. Check the problem at once. Now it is clear, I think. <clears throat> hmm. See the problem. So, interest obtained on sum of rupees 8000 for 9 months with 10% interest per annum. Okay. So, here the question means time period is given in months, not years. Okay. Na? Edo? Uh, means we need to change this into years. Okay. So, months years only change. How to change? <coughs> Very simple. So, for 12 months, one year. For now, nine months, how many years? Simple. Nine into one by twelve. So, 9 by 12 years. Okay. Yes. <coughs> Prabha says 600. Let me check. So, 9 by 12 years. Simple. What is principal amount? 8000. Yes. Usha Rani also says 600. Principal amount 8000. And time period is... 9 by 12. 9 by 12 means so 3 3s are <coughs> 3 4s are 3 by 4 
and the rate of interest is 10%. Just we need to substitute. What we get? So, simple interest is equal to PTR by 100. 8 in 8000 into 3 by 4 into 10 divided by 100. Just by substituting here, 4 to the 8. So, 3 to the 6, 100. That is exactly correct answer. Yes. So, Anita, this chapter is not in syllabus. No, 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 no. It is in syllabus. It is in syllabus because, so, <coughs> simple interest is there, compound interest is there, and after that, uh, what we did, uh, we did problems based on percentages, profit and loss, everything is there. Okay, right, right. So, answer 600 is correct. Okay, now let's move on to another problem. See this same type but some more change. Interest obtained on 6000 rupees. For two years, four months. Here it is given two years, four months. We need to convert this into years. So, how to write? Simple. The time period is two years, four months means four by twelve. Four ones are four threes. Are. That is nothing but two into one by three. That is nothing but 7 by 3. Okay, na? 2 into 1 by 3, 7 by 3. So, now T I got remaining everything you have. Principal amount 6000 and time period is 7 by 3 and after that rate of interest is 15. Yes, you can check what will be the answer. The question asked interest yes usharani is on top she says 2100 yes lavanya also so i think 2100 has more majority what will be simple interest 6000 into 7 by 3 into 15 by 100 i think it is Cancel 3 to the okay. Ha <coughs> 7 to the 14. 14 into 15. So here 14 into 15 or simply 15 to the 30 into 7. Okay. Already 2100. Okay. This is uh, 15 is there, no? 15 to the 30 and one more zero will be there. I will write here. So, 300. That means the answer will be 2100. Exactly correct. Okay, Malasri, I am getting two minutes late after commenting the answer. Okay, okay. I think uh, your net was slow, I think. Okay, you have to check that. So, if the net is fast, it will be appeared directly. Okay, na? Now, we will continue. Okay, now this is another question. Similar method, but a different question. See this question. Yes, uh, okay. Now see the question. Interest on lend money, borrowed money, means some person given to other person. How much given? 5000 rupees. So, principal amount is 5000 rupees. 
फॉर सेवेंटी थ्री डेज ओके सेवेंटी थ्री डेज टाइम इज सेवेंटी थ्री डेज we need to convert into years i mean uh, we need to convert into year how to write 73 divided by 365 years okay na so 73 divided by 365 years because days 365 days How much? Seventy-three fives means t is equal to one by five. Yes, Usha Rani says one twenty. Okay, so now we are doing seventy-three days into years. That is one by five years. So t is equal to one by five, and rate of interest is twelve percent. Yes, Lavanya also says one twenty. Now substitute. What is simple interest? Yes, Shruti also said one twenty. Manoj also said means maybe correct answer. Everybody saying five thousand into one by five into twelve divided by hundred means two zeros cancel. Fifty mean five tens. So one twenty exactly. Everybody said yes. Yes. Option uh, B, not C. I think so. Option B is one twenty. That is correct answer. Yes, you are following a lot. Yes, Vina. That is twenty one hundred previous one. <coughs> I think uh, you got little bit of later. right no problem we are in another problem see this question yes yes okay prabha also said that is correct now see another question this is different question what was asked rate of interest if the amount After three years of simple interest on capital of five thousand is six thousand two hundred. Okay, na rate of interest asked. Okay, so amount how much amount is total six thousand two hundred. That means. Principal amount plus interest is equal to six thousand two hundred. So interest how much? Six thousand two hundred minus principal amount is five thousand. How much? Twelve hundred. So this is interest. Okay, na? So interest is given, and after that three years. Time period is given, okay, and uh, principal amount is how much? Five thousand. So we need rate of interest. This is the question. Okay, understood the concept. Total amount is six thousand two hundred. Principal amount is five thousand. So. From this, I subtracted interest. I got. We need rate of interest. We have the formula. What is formula? Simple interest is equal to P T R by hundred. Here R value we need to find. Substitute in the formula. You will get the answer. Check it. Who will do first? Yes, answers are coming. Eight percent, two percent. Usha Rani as well as Lavanya. These have very much competition. These are saying very well. <coughs> Let me check. Simple interest. So we have simple interest. How much? Twelve hundred. So twelve hundred is equal to principal amount. How much? Five 
5000 into time period is 3 into rate of interest R by 100. Yes, yes, yes. Everybody is saying, Lavanya as well as Pooja, Mamata and Manoj, everybody is saying B, 8%. Right? Maybe your answer is correct. So, uh, here, 3, 4 is a 12. Okay? 3, 4 is a 12. And after that, 1, 0 got cancelled. Okay? Next, 5, 8 is a. So, exactly everybody said 8% is correct answer. Yes, Veena, you are saying 120 means that is previous problem. I think your net was slow. Okay. No problem. Continue. Uh, I will verify the answer. Whatever Veena you said, that is correct. Okay. Next. See this. One more question. Yes, yes. Asha, you also said 8 is correct answer. So, next question. What is? Mainly, the question we need to understand. The difference between the simple interest on principle of 500 is being calculated at 5% per annum for 3 years and 4% per annum for 4 years. Okay, na? 5% for 3 years, 4% for 4 years. What is the difference between the simple interest? This is the question. Yes, 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 Veena, I understood. I am getting your answer late. Okay? Maybe no problem. Your answer is correct. Okay, na? So, don't think differently. Your answer is correct. It may be late or fast. No problem. Just you need to follow. That is important. Okay, na? Thank you. Next. Uh, see, here two types of calculations will be there. First one as well as second one. So, 500 principal amount, 3 years at the rate of 5% divided by 100. So, how much we get? 75 we get. We got first one. Next, second one. Second one means same 500, 4% per annum for 4 years. So, 4 divided by 100, 0, 0 cancel, 80, yes, difference, yes, Lavanya and Manoj said correct, so 80 minus 75, the answer will be 5, yes, that is correct, Pooja as well as Navya, you also said correct answer. Yes, Prabha also did same answer. So, difference. Mamata also said correct one. Now, I will move on to one more problem. See this. <coughs> See the question. This is also important question. This is also previous question. Okay? Right. A person borrowed money and paid 10,400 rupees after 3 years. He borrowed some money. Okay. So, Duddu, he brought. Okay. So, after that, 3 years, 3 years later, he paid 10,400. Yes, yes. Okay, Veena, you said correct. So, after 3 years means total amount with interest he paid 10,400 rupees. Okay, na? So, he paid total amount. Total amount means it included 
principal plus interest okay and how much at the rate of interest r is equal to 10% per annum then the amount he borrowed means principal amount we need 3 years means time period is 3 okay now substitute in the formula what is the formula whenever you have a formula is a is equal to p into 1 plus t r by 100 okay substitute all values here substitute all values here you can find p substitute substitute you will get the answer so a shall i start a 10400 is equal to i need original amount 1 plus t t means 3 into r 10 by 100 1 0 got cancel so 10400 is equal to p into 10 plus 3 13 by 10 okay yes lavanya given answer Yes, Manjula, you are saying, please explain it again, sir. Okay, I will be explain. I will explain once again. Right, see at once. Remaining those who understood, you can do the problems. Yes. Veena, you said correct. Now, <coughs> once again, let us see. A person borrowed money. Okay, na? Person, on person, he brought money, some money, he has some money, he pays 10,400 after 3 years. Okay, na? 3 years mele 10,400 total amount repayment marthaide. Okay, means what? Total amount, total amount means principal plus with interest. This principal, original amount, amele interest amount. All total mix is 10,400. After that, the question is how much amount he borrowed at original. Okay, na? starting. How much amount he borrowed? Idu beko. This amount we need. Okay. So this is called principal amount. I think everybody is saying answer is 8000. Maybe let me check my luck. So 13 eights are 104. So the principal amount is 8000 exactly correct okay manjula understood or not just reply me okay so 8000 everybody said correct answer okay na? now let me move on to one more problem see this Yes, yes, everybody said <coughs> 8000, that is correct. Now, we need to see another question. What is another question? So, you need to see carefully about this problem. What is the question? A person borrowed money, whatever the amount he brought, it is increased to 9000 after 2 years. Okay, na? 2 years male amount 9000. Idu 9000 interest plus principal amount. Original amount and 
interest amount. Next, 13,500 after 5 years. The question is, how much amount he borrowed? Original duddu is to. Okay, how much original amount? That is required question. And what is rate of interest also? Third question is there. Okay. So now let us see the answer. So this is a little bit of different question. Let me do at once. First, five years. First, five years after. Is written what is there? 13,500 after 5 years. Okay. Next, 2 years after is to 9,000 repeat. Maadide. Okay. So, explain meaning in Kannada also, Usha Sri. Okay. I am trying to explain, but not I am perfect. Yes, yes, Manjula, you said understood. Thank you, thank you very much. Okay, now try Martha Idini, Canada Li explain Madake, but a little bit of mistakes, Adu uh, Bartho, you need to adjust Madabego. Okay, na Ushasri, right. So, five years after 13,500 written. Okay. Next, after that, two years later, 9,000 written. Now, 5 minus 2, 3 years early, S written. 13,500. Minus maadi, we will get 4,500. Okay. So, after that, for 3 years, 4,500 means, one year only, 1500, one year gay, 1500 interest is there. Okay, so for five years he is paying 13,500. Yes, for Veena you got answer. Okay, nice, 8000, correct. So, for 5 years, 13,500 returning. For 2 years, 9,000 returning. Then the difference is for 3 years, 4,000. For 1 year, 1,500. This interest per year. Okay, na? 1,500 one, one year is interest. Okay? Now, the question is, what is, how much amount he borrowed? Okay, na, third question is, amount beku, amele interest rate beku. Okay, right. First of all, overall, for one year interest, 1500. I will calculate here, interest, how much it will be. So, for two years, how much? 3000 so 2 years implies 3000 rupees interest total amount is to 9000 interest is to 3000 that means original amount is 6000 okay yes manoj said that is 6,025% interest. That is exactly correct answer. Okay. So, somebody got, not got my point. I will try to explain. Inunsa, I'll explain Martha Idini. Swalpa carefully nodi. Okay. So, one year gay, 1500 interest. Two years gay is to 3000 interest. But numberly, 2 years last, only 9,000 written maadi de. So, 9,000 total, only 
ತ್ರೀ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ದ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಓಕೆನಾ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಓಕೆ ನೌ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಚೆಕ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆನಾ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಯರ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಒನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಬೇಕು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಫಾರ್ ಒನ್ ಇಯರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇಲ್ಲೊಂದ್ ಸಲ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಪಿ ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಬೈ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಏನ್ ಬರ್ತದು ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಪಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇಂಟು ಟಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಆರ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಟೂ ಜೀರೋಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಜೀರೋ ಗಾಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಝ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ವ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಝ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಸೊ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇದು ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆನಾ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಓಕೆನಾ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಮೂವ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸಿ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪೇರ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಕಂಪೇರ್ ವಿತ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ದ ಲೆಂಡ್ ಮನಿ ಸಮ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಟು ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಫೈವ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಫೈವ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡಬಲ್ then the rate of interest is that is the question okay anybody can guess whatever the amount is given okay na means if one part is given then it will be double means again one will become total will become two ಡಬಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಒನ್ ರೂಪಿ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವೆನ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ರೂಪಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರಿನ್ಸಿಪಲ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಟೂ ಡಬಲ್ ಆಗ್ತದು ಓಕೆನಾ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಯರ್ ಇನ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಸೇಮ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ಸ್ what we have interest is equal to ptr by 100 substitute maadi illi yes manoj you are saying 20% pooja also says 20% okay it will be double i will substitute here i means how much 1 is equal to p principal amount is 1 into time period how much 5 years rate of interest divided by 100 5 20 is a, that implies r is equal to 20 percent yes lakshmi sri also said 20 percent that is correct okay na so if you don't understood just tell me don't hesitate to ask i will repeat once again also okay na because the we need to understand the concept okay
light. Everybody yes, Usha, Rani, Lavanya, Lakshmi also says the same answer that is 20. Okay. So, here it is double. Okay, na? Suppose if it is triple. Okay, na? Triple means three times. Yes, yes. Mamata also said correct. If it is triple, how the question will be? I will give one question. Check it in similar method. Nikhil borrowed money. Nikhil borrowed money will be triple for every 10 years. Then rate of interest. Here it is triple. Prabha says 25. I think Prabha it is wrong. 20 is correct. Okay na? See at once. Yes, yes. 20. Pushpa said 20. That is correct. Now, go through another problem. I started another one. Check it at once. See the problem. So, nickel borrowed money will be triple for every 10 years. Here, Manoj says 33.3. I think uh, there is no any options. Let me check. So, triple means principal amount to interest. If principal is one part, then interest will be two parts. The total will be three parts. Triple. Okay, na? Total will be three parts. So, and time period t is equal to 10 years we need to find rate of interest yes puja and manoj manoj change decision 10 percent okay lakshmi says 20 percent let me check so next here what is interest is equal to we have ptr by 100 so interest how much Two is equal to principal amount to 1 into time period 10 or divided by 100. 1, 0 got cancelled. So, R is equal to 10 into 2, 20%. Yes, yes, yes. 20% is correct answer. Yes, everybody said Yes, Manoj also changed decision once again. That is correct. Okay, Lavanya, you did also correct answer. That is also correct answer. 20% is correct answer. Okay. So, I think uh, uh, you got all the problems very well. So, I hope this will be helpful to you all. And in tomorrow class, I will continue some more problems based on this. Okay. After this, in tomorrow class only, we will move on to one more topic that is compound interest. Okay. We will do problems based on simple, pro simple interest as well as compound interest. Okay. Na? So, we will meet tomorrow by 8 o'clock. Okay. So, Every time I will say, if there is any comments, don't forget to comment me. If my uh, way of teaching is you got very well, please don't forget to give like. Otherwise, you can say dislike. Okay, na? Thank you. Thank you very much. We will meet tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, Usharani. Good night. Okay, okay. Thank you, everybody.